Hey guys, so before uh, we start the video, um, I just wanted to mention uh, you're going to see me do use the product the wrong way and then followed up by using it the right way. Uh, so what I didn't know it, um, is after you add the boost to the soap solution, do not agitate it with pressure washer or hose. Just lightly mix it with your hand. That's what I did wrong. You're going to realize that in the video. Uh, and then after I do it wrong, I show the right way to do it. So this is a great product if you make sure you do that step. Um, I would definitely suggest Meguiar's add to the bottle um, on the instructions to say do not mix the water with high pressure water after adding SiO2 boost. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Martin with Bellevoro Auto Spa. Today's video we're going to be uh, putting to practice Meguiar's uh, ceramic, hybrid ceramic wash and wax. Uh, this has been suggested to me by somebody who helped develop the product, uh, Marcus Kleiss. He has a YouTube video as well showing this and a lot of other Meguiar's products. He is the Meguiar's uh, expert that I know, at least. Um, so, I got, I just bought this car yesterday. It's a 2019 Kia Stinger GT2. Um, the, I just also, um, I used iron remover, I used iron X, and I used a uh, clay towel right here to decontaminate it. You don't have to do this before you use this product. I just did it because um, I'm, I'm gonna be ceramic coating this car eventually. I just don't have the time in the near future. So I wanted to get a head start, decontaminate it, and then just you know put something on it to protect it. It's gonna be sitting in my garage. It's not gonna be going anywhere because my regular job, I work from home anyways. Um, so, and the point of, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar, decontaminating a car, if you ever feel your car on the surface feels kind of gritty, like sandpaper, you can also put your hand inside of a plastic bag to really feel it. Um, that's because there's a lot of just dirt and iron particles and just contaminants stuck in your paint. And iron particles come from, if you live near a railroad, um, industrial fallout, or the biggest one is brakes. Uh, your brake rotors are made of iron. You hit your brakes, brake dust is you know, the brake pad dust and the uh, brake rotor. That gets all over the road, you drive through the road, especially in the rain, it gets all over your car. It sticks into your paint. Um, so you wanna make sure you do that at least once a year, is usually what most cars require. Um, so you do that, after you do all that, um, paint feels nice and smooth. And I use a clay towel because, I mean, as you can see, this thing is enormous. Um, you can get a lot of coverage really fast. And for lubrication, I used Iron X Snow Soap uh, you can use any shampoo or detail spray you want to. Uh, it's up to you. Anyways, let's get to the product. So um, I have used uh, ceramic soaps before. I have uh, CarPro Hydra 2 foam that I use for ceramic coated cars. Um, that product works amazingly well. It beads up like a monster. I've also got Turtle Wax uh, Hybrid Solutions. That one is a sheeter. Um, it'll sheet the water off. So if you prefer sheeting when you wash your car, go for it. I like beading because I like to be able to use uh, forest air to dry my car off. So a little bit about this product. It has the main product, the shampoo in here, and then it has the SiO2 boost in here. Um, it dawned on me the reason this beads so much is because of the SiO2 boost. Uh, this is in a sense kind of like a concentrated uh, ceramic detail spray. So this is where the beading comes from. This is where the washing comes from. This doesn't foam up a lot. No ceramic soaps do because the uh, ceramic polymers in the soap kind of kill the suds. That's not a big deal. It will still clean. You can still use it on a dirty car if you use a proper two bucket method or multi mitt method, whatever you want to do. Um, so I will show the back. You can pause the video if you want to uh, read through that and then we'll go over the directions. Uh, for best results, ensure the car is cool to the touch and the shade. Pre-rinse to remove loose dirt and grime. Well, I kind of pre-hole wash and decontaminated it. Use included measuring cup, add three ounces of hybrid ceramic wash to a bucket and fill with water. For best results, fill with three gallons of water. I've got three gallon wash buckets filled about two thirds of the way, uh, and then that's the rinse bucket right there. I've also got the hybrid ceramic wash mitt, which they recommend for use with this. You don't have to, but it's recommended. Uh, the way it's designed is the uh, side of the longer fibers is for washing, and the side that is uh, the gray side is for waxing as they say that's to really get the SiO2 boost to really lay on the uh, surface uh, so use included measuring or that once bucket is filled use cup to add a half ounce of the hybrid ceramic SiO2 boost 
Uh, use McGuire's hybrid ceramic wash mitt or another quality microfiber wash mitt. Wash and rinse vehicle one section at a time, starting from the top, working downwards. Dry vehicle with McGuire's Super Shine drying towel or another quality microfiber drying towel. Pro tip: While a quality microfiber wash mitt may be used, use of McGuire's hybrid wash mitt is recommended. Each side of the wash mitt is uniquely engineered to maximize hybrid ceramic wash and wax, which is what I said. Um, and it's not really an original design. I've seen other wash mitts designed the same way. Uh, Meguiar's just, this is theirs. This is what they're going to recommend because that's what they developed the product with. Um, so that's how you get ideal results. Also, I am going to be rinsing. Um, I got to hook up my, uh, my portable deionizer. Uh, if you don't know what that does, it removes all the uh, sediment until it dissolves solids out of the water. So you get a spot free rinse. It doesn't leave water spots at all. I don't have very hard water here. My uh, total dissolved solids are about 140 parts per million. That's not a lot. So the resin lasts me a long time. If you have harder water, you may want to go with, um, they have other systems that are designed for harder water, usually like a two part resin system or sometimes even a three part. Um, but if you don't have that hard of water, like I don't, this works just fine. So let me get that hooked up and uh, then we will continue with the rest of the process. Okay, got it hooked up. And let's go ahead and uh, fill our wash bucket. I like to use a two bucket method with grit guards. That bucket um, I, I use to rinse off the uh, clay towel so it's a little cloudy already. It's not a big deal, it's the rinse bucket as long as your wash bucket's clean. And it will stay clean if you use a rinse bucket. You can also use the multi-minute, multi-towel method, whatever you want to do. Um, this is the method I like to use. So let's get the soap. Let's get this thing off. This is a rebate that since I ordered it online, <laughs> I didn't get the rebate. Uh, okay, give me a second here. This is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this whole thing, I guess it's stuck in there. Okay, put that lid back on. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of stir it up just a little bit just to make sure uh, everything is uh, mixed up. Well, does it say shape well? I don't know. Maybe somewhere, maybe I missed it. Okay, so three ounces of hybrid ceramic wash. Uh, so this is a one ounce measuring cup, so we will do three ounces. Three ounces might be a little overkill because I didn't fill it all the way, but we're just gonna follow the instructions. Ooh, this stuff is thick. I'm not even gonna say what that looks like. <laughs> Let's move the uh, move the camera over to the buckets. Yeah. All right, put that cap back on. It's free, nice and easily. So add three and then fill with water. It's already filled with water. I guess it just wants to mix it up. All right, you get some foam, it'll probably dissipate quickly. Uh, and then we want to do how much of this? Half an ounce. Okay, half an ounce with the uh, SiO2 boost. Ooh, it's hard to grab from this side. Get up about halfway. Okay. Cat back on. Mix it up again. Let's go over to the car real quick and adjust this. All right, so as we can see, completely flat. 
water's not beating up. Uh, it's barely shooting off the front bumper here. Uh, that's known as a hydrophilic surface. Uh, the water just kind of invites the water to hang out. Um, and we'll do, I mean, the whole car is like that, you can see. The water just sticks, and when you're me, you don't like that. So let's get the camera set up. We'll set it up. That's a good angle. I will wash the hood on camera just to show uh, how good this stuff is. All right, I want to make sure we show the buckets. So it's already rinsed. Rinse water's a little dirty, not a big deal. Give it a good squeeze, dip it in the soapy water, and then we're good to go. Let's go set the camera back up. All right. So normally you're gonna wash with the uh, wishy-washy side. Like I said, the car has already been cleaned, but I wanna show you guys how it works. So you wash with the uh, longer uh, chenille, slim microfiber side. And it is very well lubricated, so again, you're not gonna get a lot of suds. It's not a big deal, it still cleans. You don't need suds to clean, you need lubrication and uh, surfactants. Alright, that's done. I'm gonna flip it over. I don't like sticking my hand in the mitt. You can get it if you want to. This is uh, this is the side that I guess really makes the uh, SIO2 boost stick because it sticks into this well. Um, you can also use this on ceramic for the cars for maintenance if you want to. It's up to you. The tail is amazing. You do whatever you want. Go ahead and rinse the bucket. Let's go ahead and rinse this off and see what we got. Yes, I had a two boost up when I uh, put the bucket in. So that was a terrible, <laughs> terrible demonstration. Let's try it again. What I've been showing, that's not how it's supposed to work. As you can see, that's what it did. You guys saw me mix it up, saw me put it in the bucket, you saw me add the SiO2 boost. I don't know. So much for this video. All right guys, so apparently I did something wrong. Um, I just tested it out and everything's good now. So after you add the boost, do not mix up the water. You can lightly do it by hand, but don't use the pressure washer. Apparently the boost is supposed to sit on the top 
and that way it can uh, coat the mitt and do the car while you're doing it. So I'm here with a different car this time after uh, the footage I had kind of got messed up. So let me show you. Now you can see that's not the most hydrophobic behavior. So we will get our Meguiar's wash, hybrid wash mitt. Okay, we'll go over the hood. And forgive me, I don't have an ideal setup actually. I have a client right now waiting on this car, so I don't want to take forever. I already pre washed this car as well. And now the boost actually sticks to this side, so watch the difference. See how it's like kind of flat right now? Look at that. It instantly starts beating once you wash it with the side that all the boost is stuck to. And then we'll come back and uh, rinse, and I'll show you the difference. Make sure you get full covers. Supras have gigantic hoods for such small cars. All right. Now, let me adjust the gun. Hold on one second, sorry. Okay, now let's rinse it. Look at that, the water beating is absolutely wonderful. Looks like I missed the spot right there. But yeah, night and day difference, uh, especially when you do it the right way. Now the instructions don't necessarily say don't agitate it, but they don't tell you to either after you add the boost. It says to add the solution, um, add the, the soap, fill the bucket, and then add the boost. So there's probably a reason for that. Uh, McGuire's, I would say you might want to add specific instructions not to mix, mix up the boost in the water. But uh, there we go. I'm going to finish this car and then um, I'll, I'll come back for some final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wash. Um, it's great if you use it right. <laughs> um, I obviously used it wrong. I did some research before I, I decided to push this video out. Um, I actually was talking to Marcus Kleiss. I'll link his channel below. Uh, Marcus helped develop uh, a few Meguiar's products. That guy is hes a whiz with um, anything Meguiar's related. And detailing related in general he's he's a really smart guy so uh, if you if you want to learn more about products and really 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 get in depth and see him picked apart go check out his channel um, but it's a good product as you can see it adds great uh, water beading it's not you know the best protection because it is a wash and a wash and coat product um, I topped it with car pro hydro 2 after uh, you can top it with uh, Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax hybrid ceramic liquid wax Whatever you want, uh, try to keep it in the ceramic family, of course. Um, but it, it's a phenomenal product. Um, there's gonna be a link for that below as well. Uh, so as, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, so before uh, we start the video, um, I just wanted to mention, uh, you're gonna see me do use the product the wrong way and then followed up by using it the right way. Uh, so what I didn't know, it, um, is after you add the boost to the soap solution, do not agitate it with pressure washer or hose. Just lightly mix it with your hand. That's what I did wrong. You're gonna realize that in the video. Uh, and then after I do it wrong, I show the right way to do it. So this is a great product if you make sure you do that step. Um, I would definitely suggest Meguiar's add to the bottle um, on the instructions to say do not mix the water with high pressure water after adding SiO2 boost.